Hi there. We're going to have a look at how to remove and clean fuel injectors. This is a 2007 330i, the i being for fuel injected. And this can come in a 3 series, 5 series, X5, X3, the whole lot, this engine. Now, I've got the engine cover off this, and if you want to have a look, um, have a look at my how to clean coils. The uh, coil over plugs are these guys here. Took the engine cover off in that video there. And what we're going to do now is actually remove the fuel rail and have a look at the fuel injectors. Now that square metal right there, that's the fuel rail and it runs right the way back. There's electronics there on top. And if you have a look underneath here, you will see these little black guys. Above the intake manifold there these little black guys there is a fuel injector there is a fuel injector we've got a 10 mil bolt there another 10 mil bolt boy there are four of them and that's the fuel line where it comes in with a snap connector and all of that is pressurized so we're going to take that rail up which will then lift out those fuel injectors and then we're going to give them a clean and we're just going to give them a very basic clean I've got some um, carby cleaner spray here we're going to spray the ends and um, even maybe give them a bit of a rub with a toothbrush. We'll see how bad they are and what we get and uh, also see if we can't run a bit of fuel through them. So this is just the procedure to pull it out. But from here, you can see this is extremely straightforward. I'm just going to take that uh, clip here. This is just clipped onto that square rail. That actually just lifts up on both sides. It's going to be difficult, of course. But that does just lift straight off. And because this is pressurized, oh, it really doesn't want to come off. Because this is pressurized, we do want to let the pressure out too, so it doesn't spray fuel all over us or anything else. Here's the clip on this side. Let's lift that up. And down there again. Let's lift that up. Here we go. Now it's going to come straight off. So that's those wires, and it's clipped under a little clip just here. I'm going to lift that up. Okay, so we're just going to um, lift that out of the way. I was going to unplug it, but in actual fact, there's enough. We can just uh, lift that out of the way. Now I'm going to have to release the pressure off. So there's a, a little um, gauge here, just like a, a um, tire valve and it will be holding the pressure in the fuel rail. So I'm gonna get a container to catch that bit of fuel and then let that pressure out. So I've just got a little lid I'm gonna put under there and I've got my safety glasses on and then we're just gonna release the pressure a little bit at a time. Out of there, there we go. That's all, no drama, we release that and take that petrol. Okay, so we've taken the pressure off, taken the wires off, we've just got the fuel rail sitting here, beautiful and accessible. So we'll just take that off. And that one I cracked just before. And I'll just take the pressure off all of them. They're nice and easy to get off. But of course the last one. Now we can take this off now. So let's see if we can work this out on the fly. We've got a pressure and release. Here we go. There's the fuel line off. It's going to spill a bit more fuel, of course. Okay, so put our little fuel catcher under there. And that'll just catch that little bit of petrol. Just drain it out. Get that out of the way. And then we'll get back in. Actually, I'm going to take this so, so it doesn't evaporate and... Um, stink make us smell and smell out the whole garage i'm going to take it out um, out of the shed okay so i've loosened off one and two and number three is right there i'll get that out of the way number four is going to be considerably more difficult and I'll, I'll work on that in a second get all these loosened out these all the way out. 
Okay, so this last bolt is uh, in underneath, but this part here, there's another part of the cover, again, that's in the video, have a look at my video about the coil packs for how to get the cover off. This part here actually just clips forward like that. Okay, so we just take this clip off. That comes off. Then this one over here. That comes off. Then we'll lift that out. Bring this over the top. That'll give us just a bit more space. And then we just need to get onto that last bolt if we can. Yes. Is it working on cards fun? Again, getting the light in there really helps to get this on, get it started, and then I've taken the socket set off. I just used that to crack the bolt to start with, and now just winding it out. Working on BMWs, because they have all of the um, plastic sheeting under the car to keep um, the dirt out and keep the airflow right and so forth, you don't want to drop bolts or spanners or tools of any description because they don't come out underneath again. So here we go, just winding this out. Unless you tip the car upside down. Uh, yeah, that'd be fun. Okay, that's coming out. Now hopefully, no, that bolt's just going to drop like the rest did. Okay, so we're now we're going to find out if there's anything else holding this fuel rail in place. Those bolts are out. That looks clear to me. So let's see. Whoop, I'm getting petrol coming out of somewhere. Probably a bit of pressure. here this is the uh, power going to each of the injectors we haven't disconnected that yet but we'll see if that's going to come up we've got a tight wire here holding that in place this guy we know about the fuel line we know about Well, we're getting little bits of fuel squirting out of these injectors, so I assume we're coming up. Okay, so we're just trying to lever this out. I've loosened all the wires up as much as I can. Now, this is a bit crass. I'm using a, a ball joint puller, but this, this here is just the plastic intake manifold. I don't want to lever off that, but because all of these six injectors are all in there with rubber, it's a bit tight. So I'm actually levering off the top of the oil filter here some rags on there so we don't damage anything putting it under and then lifting whoop there we go and we're out and now we'll just wiggle that out the rest of the way we'll be able to get into the business of cleaning these injectors obviously we're going to have to Get that up and out of the way so that we can get this fuel rail right up. There it goes. There is a bit of petrol coming out of that fuel line. Be very careful of the tips of your injectors. Make sure that um, they are all not banging down or anything like that. There's, there's the I'm wriggling the injector rail. There's the tips, you don't go bang on the tips of the injectors into anything down there. And now we're just going to wiggle it out and um, get them up so we can inspect them and give them a clean. Uh, lift that rail up, you can see here, just very careful of the tips as I did that. But uh, I'm looking and I'm seeing a lot of burn marks and lacquer and all sorts and far from clean. When I tip it over, the points actually look okay. I can rock that over and uh, have a look now there if you have a look at that i'll get as close as i can um, there's little holes in there so what i'm going to do i'm going to spray it all down i've got some um, carby cleaner i'm going to spray all that down clean all of this off and also down the holes there's a lot of dirt there but i'll clean all around inside down the holes down there without knocking dirt into the cylinder if i can we give it all a clean up. I'm not going to run water through anything like that because those guys just look to me like they need to be replaced. This car's done 155,000 kilometres, so that's just under 100,000 miles. 
So um, I think we might be replacing those guys, but we'll give them all a clean and uh, see how it works. I don't have the part here, so I'll give them all a, just a quick clean from the outside and then we'll see how it looks. So I am literally just giving these a spray, just cleaning off the O-rings and, um, and that's, that's the end where the injector comes out. So literally just giving it a spray in the end of each one get it all clean and I've cleaned out the holes as well because there's an o-ring here that needs to seat and seal in there so it needs to be clean so I've given these uh, holes a clean as well Let's see if you can see that happening this stuff is really good just for blowing all the stuff out now this carby cleaner is going down into the uh, actual cylinder so I'm going to leave this for a good half hour before I put it all back together so it's got plenty of time to evaporate out. But a bit of carby cleaner down there will actually um, help to clean out um, any carbon deposits and bits and pieces that are sitting on the, on the top of the piston or anything like that when it goes in as well. So I'm, as I said, I'm not going to um, pull the injectors out of the rails because they just look tired to me. I'm pretty sure they've never been replaced. 155,000 kilometers or just under 100,000 miles so I will give them a clean like this see how it goes if that fixes it all great but I think what's most likely is I'll get a set of injectors and then um, replace them so when I go all the, when I go to all the effort of pulling it, the injectors off the rail I will replace them rather than clean them okay so now we're going to attempt to put all of that back together again cleans it all out got it all nice and the big thing here is to take care of those injector tips. And then lower that back into place. We'll push that straight down. That clicked beautifully into place. And then we'll put those 10 mil bolts back in. These guys will go back in like that. One in shot, yeah, just about. Get that out of the way. Here we go, get that started. If you um, put all these in by hand rather than using a tool, then there's way less chance that you're going to misthread anything or cause any problems because you're using way less pressure. Now, see if we can go for the third one up here. Again, the more light you get on, the more you're going to see, the easier it's going to be. So we lower that into place. And getting that going. That one doesn't want to start, so just give the rail a bit of a wriggle. Here we go, now it's starting. Go. All right, you don't need to be seeing me doing bolts up. So I'm going to have to pull this cable forward again in order to get into the last one. But uh, I'll get those four bolts in, and then I'll show you the next. I've been putting those uh, fuel roll bolts back on, and I deliberately had my small socket. That's the size of my hand. That's just a very small socket wrench for the light little work that I was doing. That was perfect for taking it off. But putting it back on, particularly over the back. Um, I couldn't get that to ratchet enough to move, so I went for larger tools. This is a full-sized socket set, and I put a full extension bar on it uh, with the pivot head on it, uh, and then the nut. So with that, it was what I needed to uh, get these bolts done back up. Let me bring that light over. So there's the bolt head. I was able just to to put that on, get the ratchet up as straight as you can always, and then get it up nice and tight. And the one over the back, as I said, I had to stand up those pipes. Again, I'll put the light there, so that we can then come over the top. And there is the bolt over the top of the fuel hose there. And then I could get that on again, straighten up as much as possible, and then do it up nice and tight. Now again, these are just little 10 mil bolts um, going into an aluminium head, so you don't 
give it everything you've got, particularly when you go for the big tools. Just pull it up tight uh, and that's it because they weren't tight to come out. So that fuel rail is now back on. So it's a matter of reassembling now the electrics. Uh, that cap is back on. So this guy here, you can tell by the dirt marks and the rub marks uh, exactly where that goes back on. And we will clip that back into place, just like that. As it turned out, I didn't take out those wires so they can stay as they are. Uh, and you can see here where these wires were tucked in underneath. So we'll tuck that into place. That's all good. That's in place. That's in place. That's in place. It's in place. Looking good. And now the fuel hose needs to be reconnected. And that's your fuel hose right here. So pull it up and clip that on. Bang, clip, clip. You hear that? And then pulling it. That's nice and tight. That is uh, nicely in place. That's good. The clicking is what we wanted to hear as it went back on. And seeing now that it won't come back off. So there we go. Now when you first start this up, it's not going to instantly fire because there's now no pressure in the fuel rail, but it won't take long to pressurize up and we'll um, get to put this back together. One more thing, we need to pull this here. Let's get this light back up here. We need to get this device here. Look at these big clips. They clip onto the um, torsion bar that runs across here. So pulling that down, just being very gentle on everything because you don't want to go break any wires or anything like that. Clipping that back into place. There we go. When you get it in the right position, it'll just go. You won't have to force it. And then this here was a matter of getting that in position. Then up, and click, and again over here. Getting that into position, up, and click. Now that's back on, that's back on. All right, that's not back on yet. That's better. You get it so that both the clips, when you check in here, are touching the bar and on. It's now square along the front here. So, that's now good. That's back in place. You just check all of these. They're all nothing's crimped or bent or unplugged or anything like that. That's sitting back down where it was. That's in place. Good. That's back together. Wow. That was simple. Now, if you see a great big gaping bolt hole here, don't panic. That didn't have anything in it. So that's fine. These bolt holes out the front hold the engine cover. So they're fine. So here we go. We're ready to give it a test. Okay. Let's take this car for a test drive. Time to get it on the road and see how that little splutter is going. 